The golden trout and the string fish, two of Animal Crossing New Horizons' most elusive fish. Both have extremely similar catch patterns, but that doesn't really make them much easier to catch, does it? Now, if you've come here expecting the cheat codes that'll help you nab these fish super quick, I'll need to make one thing clear. In order to catch either of these fish, you need to understand that this could feel like a walk in the park, or it could feel like your car just broke down on the way home from the park. You could get extremely lucky and catch them both in one night with your first 10 bait, but that isn't always the case, let me tell you. But I will say, the moment you reel in that line with one of these fish at the end, it'll be a sweet, savory moment that'll make it all the more worth it. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and today we're here to share with you every detail you'll need in order to catch either the golden trout or the string fish in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I hope you brought some extra bait and fishing rods because this could be quite the extended fishing trip. The golden trout and the string fish have extremely similar catch conditions. They're both active from 4pm to 9am and can be found within the rivers of your clifftops, which is basically any river that's raised above your ground level. However, the seasons these fish are available do differ. The golden trout is available in March, April, May, September, October, and November in both the northern and southern hemispheres, whereas the string fish is only available December through March in the northern hemisphere and June through September in the southern hemisphere. So if you time it out right, you can actually try hunting for both of these fish at the same time depending on what time of the year you go fishing. Now, as I mentioned before, both of these fish can be caught in the upper rivers of your island. This means they can be caught in the stream or right at the mouth of your waterfall. We've also heard from some that the golden trout can be caught in the pond of the highest point of your island, but we never managed to pull that off for ourselves, so we can't confirm it. And now that you know the location, I bet you're itching to get up there and start fishing. But you'll need to make sure you've packed the essentials. First, you'll need to make sure you have the ladder so you can get up to the higher parts of your island, and you may want to bring along a vaulting pole in case you don't have enough bridges built yet. You'll obviously need to bring a fishing rod, and just to be safe, you might want to pack some extra supplies and a crafting table. Then you won't have to run all the way home to craft a new rod if and when it breaks on you, and trust us, it, it probably will. And now you can absolutely catch one of these fish without doing this, but we highly, highly recommend farming some fish bait using the manila clams that can be dug up on the beach before you come up. And if you're unfamiliar, bait can be used to make a fish spawn in the location it's tossed in. Which sounds like cheating, but trust us, in the end, with all the work you might put into this, it really isn't. And I know this might sound like overkill, but I recommend bringing with you at least 30 bait, which should take you around 15 minutes to gather and craft. And when you do that, it's best to walk up and down your beach rather than run, as it seems like the clams might actually get scared away from your loud footsteps. And now the last thing to discuss is the shadow size of the two fish. The shadow of the golden trout is about a medium size, I'd say. It's similar to the cherry salmon and the char, where the string fish is the biggest size shadow that I've seen in the rivers. I eventually learned there's a difference between the shadow of the black bass and the string fish, but it's barely noticeable as I caught way too many black bass, way too many. Now once you get up on the mountain and find a place to fish, whip out some bait and get to it. If you see a shadow that's smaller than the fish you're looking for, just toss in more bait and a new fish will spawn instantly. You don't want to waste your fishing rod's integrity on another loach or Karushin carp if you can help it. Now remember earlier when I mentioned this could either be a nearly painless experience or an extremely tedious endeavor? <laughs> eh, well, let me explain. Now I don't have the facts as to why or how, so I'm, I'm just going to blame the RNG. When I went fishing for these two, I caught the string fish with my first 20 or so bait, and this was my second one I've ever caught. I ran through my first 30 bait without nabbing a golden trout at all, so I went back down. I farmed more bait, went fishing, and still nothing. And before I knew it, I had blown through a number of bait that I'm not proud to divulge to the internet. 250. Over 250 bait nabbed me three string fish, a ton of other fish, and no golden trout. I kid you not. I was so frustrated at this point, so I shared my woes with a few friends, 
And in the process of this, it turns out one of my friends actually has the same exact island layout as me. And it turns out he caught a golden trout down on the middle level river. Now I was fishing the entire time up on the mouth of my waterfall at the highest point of my island. So the next day I took another crack at it, fishing all the way up top. And I caught another string fish after 12 or so bait. And then I said, screw it. I moved down to the middle river and I, I can't believe, I can't believe it happened. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I caught the golden trout after nine bait. The golden trout was finally in my hands. Now to make matters more interesting, our writer Gavin managed to nab the golden trout in less than 10 bait, his first try at the mouth of his waterfall, the same spot I spent all night fishing. But he has yet to catch a single string fish. And I've also been reading a lot online that a lot of other people are having that same issue where they'll be able to find one of the fish super easy and then the other seems near impossible. So based on that information, it's quite possible that each island has their own different spawn rates, but that's something we really don't have an answer to either. It's just speculation. Now, if you've tried like me to catch the string fish or the golden trout over and over again, and you're just finding no luck, it turns out that there is actually a Nook Miles Island that you can randomly visit. And if you're lucky enough to get there, it actually has high cliff tops and a higher chance at catching these buggers. Now, with all the time and effort we put into catching the stringfish and the golden trout, we can't say it's necessarily worth the time investment if you're just planning on selling them for bells, as each of them are worth 15,000 bells. And there are much, much easier ways to get that amount of money. But there's no way you're going to complete the museum or your fishing compendium without these fish. Feel free to let us know in the comments down below which of these two fish have brought you to come and watch our video. And let us know if you've caught any of these already. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you go ahead and toss a bag of bait at that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. We really hope you found this guide useful. I'm Zeon from Nintendo Life, and we will see you next time. Bye.